the mighty basilisk for the rescue all right my dear watchers you have subscribed you have liked and you have left nice comments on my videos and i thank you for that and i welcome you to the final episode of official pvp season one and only this is the end and the first thing i need to do today is to activate our outside teleporter which it had ran out of element right now it is just sitting duck out there i'm just gonna get some element from this tech generator and get the allies to tp myself out with a snow owl thank you very much and i'm out of here i have a long way to go let's fly and we are here our tp on a tree platform is just there And it's back online again. Our food stock survived the night with no problem. It's almost half full. Gotta love the tech troughs, right? The enemy is trying to catch us offline. Come in here with no gear to check on us. But alarm RG works fine. I will replace the spam to the deep entrance. Alright, an hour passed. And the alarm dinos are dead. And some spam is gone. They are here. They killed a willow and trying to remove spam really quick. I got more wheels ready for use. These should be enough. All right, let's deploy this instead of the one we lost. Looks like they just left. I'm gonna do the usual thing and add some more spam. Some trouble at the ice cave. So I'm going out to look what's up. Alright, there is the ice cave. I'm gonna try to see without getting too close in case they already got a fob set up. Well, what in the world is that? What is that? This looks epic. Alright, I gotta go. I'm not fighting that. And they are still following me. Look at that. Well, let's cut the rest. I came back for a last look and I hit something. But a mana started chasing me. No worries though. There is no catching a mana on the run. Especially these pre-nerfed manas. But now I'm thinking I wish I brought few battery turrets to set a trap for that red mana. You know that would be really awesome. Anyway, let's go back to our cave. All right, we are back. So I couldn't do much out there, but allies needed a Yuri. So I'm just crying our Yuri to give it to them. And some unrelated news. Look at how many bully gems we got. So many. Gachas are really nice. And now enemies back at our cave. And the bad news is they are hitting both caves at the same time. One team hit an ice cave and another team is hitting our pack cave. They are blowing up our spam. And narc grenades do your job well. My most most loyal friend, Narc Grenades. Let's get you back, Willow. You have no use here. Here is another Willow for the tunnels I just got. They're back again, and I'm wasting some sniper ammo. One shot lands, nice. All right, they dropped a turtle. I need to deal with that. Willows should work against that. Well, I need to do some damage, but these grenades are hurting me. I got some knock grenades but I can't get close. That guy is shooting like a turret with that tech rifle.
We need more wheelos, and we got some I can spare, just for use. We're not even touching the breeders, but if we need it, we can use them. We have a lot of wheelos. Back to placing spam, and they are constantly throwing grenades to remove our spam. All right, it is time to kill this turtle. Turtle was taking a lot of time, so I jump off to play some more spam and throw fear knock grenades. And I think I knocked out my ally. Let's just take him back to safety. I was trying to kill the turtle and then they brought a stego. As expected, I changed my focus to stego because it has a rider that is dangerous. Eventually it died. They couldn't get anything done with it. We are doing fine so far. And then I went back to the turtle. That was taking a lot of time as well. So I gave one of the allies a willow to help out. Together we finished the turtle. Now, I'm gonna try something bold, something dangerous, I'm gonna rush with a Terry. Well, don't tell you thought it was gonna work, right? Don't be so naive, dear watchers. We fail on this channel. I saved the Terry though, it did not die. Now, here comes the Rock Drake with the Tech Saddle. But don't worry, I have the line of sight, I can shoot its leg. So, that's not gonna work. Now they moved back, and I'm keeping guard here, in case they try it again. But now, they trying to dismount me, not cool. So, one guy on the rock drag and another throwing plant Z. That's their plan. That's not gonna work out. And our plan is Willow and Kampo. But I got no eye and eye, so I can't see anything. Now I throw out an arc grenade. Good job, right? Back on my wheelow to use my few seconds of free time to rail that rock drake. And since it's not a bred one they can't breed, it was pretty easy and fast to take it down. So they got a Giga, a Terry, and people over there. And I'm just waiting here for them to act. Now I will fire few bullets just to poke them a little. Let them know we are still here waiting for them. I'm going down to check our water entrance. Looks like they got a racer with a pillbox there, but I think it's stuck, so we are fine here. We are getting raided and raising dinos at the same time. Ain't that really cool? They play turret, so I'm gonna try to soak them with a trike. Let's get you the saddle. Well, they are throwing grenades. And these grenades are doing damage to my character. Now a wheel. Alright, this did not go very well. This failed really bad. This failed miserably. They are still throwing these grenades to remove our spam. Allies busy defending their cave. But also, we are not getting attacked really heavy. It looks like just few people. We got the Terry slacking and we did some damage to it. Then a turtle. But then they started throwing plant Z constantly. So it's all white screen. Rest of it. Mostly can't see anything. Now we exchange throwable things. This turtle is annoying man. May I burn you to death dear enemy. You have too much HP. When do you think you can die? Is that a tech rifle or tech turrets? Can you answer that? They brought a gas bag now but our wheelos are ready. And we can't let them soak our turrets. They throw plant Z like crazy. And I return fire with not grenades. So the battle is going on for far too long and both caves are getting hit. That's why I'm gonna take all we store here and I will not leave anything down at the breeding area. Just in case they can't wipe us but manage to get in the breeding area. It would be a very regrettable moment if they do that. There you go, every dino we have goes here. They are trying to tech rifle our turret wall but they are not doing too much damage. Let's see.
There you go, our empty breeding area, except these two manas. We could use them here, so they stay out. Also eggs, they are important too, but too heavy to carry in one go. Alright, here is the basilisk that gave me the thumbnail of this video. Ally friend that joined our tribe brought this, and I get to watch a good PvP player in action. You also too, a little bit. Pretty basilisk got hurt, so here is my heart for you, oh the precious one. Stop hiding enemy, or I'll drop drown you with my poison they have turrets we have turrets waiting here out of range now it's getting boring what are you doing terry you want to get shot i can do that look at this insanity how is he tanking like that he is straight up tanking my wheelo and shooting the turret wall how bad is my wheelo or how good is his flak armor this is too much welcome back basilisk destroy them for me i got another heart for you All right, are you sleepy a little bit? Do some good shots, my friend. No, traitor. How could you do this? You pushed me on the edge. Now I'm falling. Anyway, this is our water entrance. So when the enemy tried to come from this side, tribe mates got worried about turtles with sea force. So they did a quick build about the water. So no turtle can reach them with sea force with the new build. They cannot destroy the cliff flat like that. But it was a quick and sloppy build. Some of the turrets don't even have power. So I'm gonna fix them really quick. All right these are the last two turrets then i can go back and see what's going on above and i'm back at where the action is they're out of range but sometimes shots land so we're just trying to keep them at bay until we can do a good play and push them up i have perfect line of sight here but no it doesn't work this is why i don't like arc pvp they are getting cozy in our cave look at those turrets So I missed the most important part of this raid defense. Somehow I missed it. We won. Our pro arc PvP player new tribe mate just rockets run the enemy turrets. And I don't have anything to show for it so unfortunate we kept them at bay and tired them out eventually find a way to push them and then they left as long as your turret wall is standing you are on the winning side they are the ones exposed and wasting their resources we are at our base anyway we won they are gone so i was extremely tired and i just logged off after this but i made a terrible mistake we were supposed to store our most valuable items and dinos in the ice escape with our allies but i did not do that and our enemies offline raided us we got offline wiped we lost everything we worked for that's a bummer but our allies had more than enough so we were gonna join the allies and merge continue playing but few episodes ago i said something about not wanting to play with large groups of people i don't know if you've seen that but more people means more trouble sometimes people get mad at their enemies is cheating and they start cheating themselves which that is not sides well with me and official pvp tribes are full of people i have to keep in check otherwise i am also complicit you know anyway this is the end of my official pvp series but it's not the end of arc we will be going back to official small tribes one last time season five will be coming out very soon the best season i have ever had the most far i have gone on arc official servers where i had survived more than three months all right thank you for watching dear watchers see you on the official small tribes season 5 before you move on to the next one i appreciate if you subscribe